All right, today we're gonna be breaking down the ABZ 1v4 that he had all the way back at Major 4. I believe it was the only 1v4 the entire CDL season, so let's do a full round breakdown of what the hell happened. All right, so we start off pretty standard for both teams. On the face side, we're gonna have a standard spread, 1B, uh, one back pool here, and then two team working the bottom bed uh, cross. As you can see here, one's prone and one's standing on this little block right over him. So it's a really nice, uh, what people would call Eiffel Tower setup, where you have both people watching the same angle, but from different vertical positions. So if you're trying to chow it straight up, it, it's a really hard gun fight. And as you can see here on the New York side, we're gonna have a standard motion towards A. It's not a quick A, it's not really a spread at all. Uh, all they have is, is one guy mid that's trying to take some attention off of the guy that's uh, mid on the other side. And then you have everyone uh, else that might be working towards A. With Skies taking bomb here and Paco all the way pushed up L. And then Kiz, as you're going to see, is going to try and cross towards uh, the glass stairs. Uh, I believe I mentioned that previously in another hotel video. But a lot of times teams, when they were going to motion towards B, they would love to send someone to try and cross to these glass stairs to try and disrupt the round for, for the defense. So as you guys can see, it's not really a faster A hit. Uh, they're still motioning towards it. So really important to note what Kiz does here while he's trying to cross. He actually just dives across, diverts the attention of the two guys that were in this setup. And now Skies behind him on these stairs can chow and try and get one of these guys that's playing the cross. And that's what they do. They get a free first blood on this guy. Meanwhile, Paco has now made his way towards the couches to try and take even more space that way. And from this, you know, New York has a free bomb plant. They have couches completely covered. They have top bed completely covered. They're gonna go for this plant now, 2v4 uh, for the face side. It's not looking good at all. And as you can see, they know where the last guy is after the bomb plant because he, he takes the shots. Unfortunately, does not kill Skies, uh, but Priest is able to get the kill from this Abizi 1v4. You know, the chances of this happening are literally probably 0.001% just because of how the kills went down and uh, the bomb also being planted. He has to basically clear everything uh, from this point onwards. So he gets a really nice kill on Kiz. Obviously in a 1v4, the first guy to die, it's not on him at all uh, because it's just, you know, you don't know where that last guy is. So BZ gets that kill on the guy top bed and then he makes his way downwards. So this is where some really cool mic positioning from Abizi comes into play. Uh, so what he's gonna do is dive out bottom beds behind this black box right here, banking on no one watching this cross to bomb. And fortunately for him, no one is at the time. You see Paco actually watching it right now, but he's gonna have the craziest timing and give this up at the worst possible time that he could have. So, you know, even Abizi knows that there was a guy couches uh, because Cell had died in this position before. Uh, so he, it's possible for someone to be couches, uh, someone to be main desk, or him to have backed off to, to L here. So he's just playing a position to cover him from mainly uh, this black box and P4 area by going behind this box. So as you can see here, if we play out the round, Paco gets the worst timing. He gives it up at the exact time that a BZ starts to cross. He gives us up because it's possible that a BZ could wrap around this way and go towards top cat to try and make a play um, mid and finish off his 1v3 in, in that sense. But instead he crosses and bullies out the site, gets a free kill on Paco here who's not watching it anymore. And Paco doesn't know that he had crossed because I believe Priesta doesn't even see him uh, while he's on this top block. So Priestig even gets really bad timing or is not positioning himself to where he could see that bottom bed dive. So what Abizi does is micro positions his way up to this box, gets the kill on Hydra, and then he sees Skies at his left viewpoint here. He's able to micro position even more because he knows that the only possible way for him to stay alive is to finesse around this big black box. Uh, so he does that just for a little bit. He gets tagged once. Uh, and then reach house onto skies uh, with the sub he can win this gunfight easy and as you see here he jump chows wins the gunfight only one guy left alive that's priesta and for priesta unfortunately you know he does climb on top of this p4 box this god heady um, and you'll see here he, he was probably just trying to maintain that position where he's just hiding with just his head exposed and head glitching it but he fully climbs up top and Abizi is able to get the free kill as he's climbing up. So a bunch of crazy timings in that round, but credit to Abizi, especially for the little micro positions that he was able to do uh, with diving and then, and then finessing around the black box. 
and he's able to get that 1v4 for the team. They're all hyped up, he's screaming, and uh, they're actually able to end up winning this full map. And you know, that was a 4-4 round, a super important round in the entirety of the map. And FaZe is able to take it to go up 5-4 rather than being in that 4-5 deficit. So a really big round, they end up winning the map off of this. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed that little analysis of what was going on in that 1v4, and I'll see you guys in the next one.